Hello everyone! Yes, happy Wednesday sa ating lahat! I hope everyone is doing just fine. Yes! <laughs> Alright, I am happy that uh, despite the fact na hindi tayo pwede makapag-synchronous uh, meeting, I was able to prepare this presentation for all of you. Yan! Okay, I hope you're watching it. And you can watch it at the comfort of your own homes, no? Anytime. Yes, anytime. Okay, and uh, if you need to share this with your classmate, then feel free to do so. Uh, that that's not a problem. All right. So, anyways, um, it's time to work, and uh, it's it's your time to study and learn. You can take notes if you want, huh? and you can also pull up a copy of the module para makasabay. But but the module itself is actually too compressed, so I added a few important details in this presentation. All right. So. Shall we? Shall we? All right. Okay. Let's get ready. So uh, our learning objectives for today. So by the end of this module or chapter, you should be able to define an artist's or artisan's medium and techniques. Uh, to define the role of managers, curators, buyers, collectors, and art dealers in the art world. Mm, this is interesting. Now, to differentiate between artist and artisan's approach or technique toward a particular medium, and we will also try to identify national artists and Gamaba artists and their notable works and their contribution to the society, and then explain the three stages in the creative process. All right, okay. So, ayan, na siguro I'm sure that you have heard these two terms already, but uh, they, they they are they should not be confused, no? This these are two words that should not be confused with one another. So, what's the difference between an artist and an artisan? Actually, it just boils down to to two aspects. Eh. One is one is um, relates to art. The other one relates to a craft. Okay, ano ibig sabihin nun? So, an artist, the word artist, okay, listen, it's generally defined as an art pr practitioner, such as a painter, sculptor, choreographer, a dancer, writer, poet, musicians, and the like, who produces or creates, okay, right, emphasis, indirectly functional arts with aesthetic value using imagination. On the other hand, look at the artisan, okay? An artisan naman, it's a craftsman, okay? Such as carpenter, carver, plumber, blacksmith, weaver, embroiderer, and the like, who produces directly functional and or decorative arts, okay? So, an, uh, an artisan... Okay, an artisan is essentially a manual worker who makes items with his or her hands. And gamit yung skill niya or experience and talent, he or she can create things of great beauty as well as being functional. May purpose, may gamit. No. Whereas an artist naman, on the other hand, dedicated only to the creative side. Okay, creative side. Making visually pleasing work only for the enjoyment and appreciation of the viewer but with no functional value all right no functional value all right so sa, sana naging medyo maliwanag ang uh, explanation sa difference between an artist and an artisan so if i ask you whether a painter is an artist and artisan you should be able to answer that question huh all right now next so um, wh what are or who are the key components on the art market okay so these are the following uh, important players in the art market mind you ha, the art market back in 2018 was uh, estimated at about 68 billion dollars okay Ibig sabihin, that's how huge this uh, market is no? Um, the art market is an economic ecosystem that relies not only on supply and demand but also on the fabrication of a work's predicted future, monetary, and or cultural value. Okay, so we have here the three important players. We have the curator, the art buyer, and the art dealer. Okay, so the curator. Ang curator natin usually is a manager or overseer 
or keeper of a cultural heritage institution ng mga gallery, museum, library, or archive. Okay, and he's also a content specialist charged with an institution's collections, selecting art to be displayed in a museum, organizing art exhibitions in galleries or public places, researching artists, and writing catalogs, and involved with the interpretation of heritage. Okay, so sometimes ang curator din or responsible yan for writing lab, uh, writing labels, catalog essays, and other content supporting exhibitions. Okay. So, kapag pumunta kayo ng isang museum and then um, may, may isang tao doon who is uh, overall in charge kung ano yung dapat ilagay, ano yung dapat i-display. So, that's what you call a curator. Alright. And then next, we have the art buyer. Okay. From the word buyer. Okay. So, an art buyer is a professional who is knowledgeable in art. Ibig sabihin, meron siyang alam pagdating sa art or who may look for an art and buy it on behalf of a collector or company. Yan. So, an art buyer, yan, pwede yung tao, okay, yan, tao yan, uh, who discovers and purchases artworks for a client to suit in accordance with their tastes. So, ako, for example, ako, I, I represent company AXY, art buyer ako. So, bibili ako para sa for my company. And then the third one is the art dealer. Okay, art dealer. The, an art dealer is a person or a company that buys and sells. Yan, mga nagbabay and sell ng work of arts. And art dealers often study the history of art before starting their careers. Yes, that's very crucial. Okay, They have to understand the business side of the art world. They keep up with the trends in the market and are knowledgeable about the style of art about that people want to buy. Yes, over time talaga nagbabago ang trend ng arts. What, you know, but sometimes the, the older the art, the, the more authentic, the more... Sinauna, sometimes it's very expensive, no? But over time, the, the, the taste of the people change, changes. Um, so, ayan, an art dealer. So, it, it could be a person or a company. No? So, nagbabay and sell ng mga pieces of art or works of art. So, ang, uh, ang art buyer and art dealer, um, commonly, they, they earn mostly on commission. No. Okay. So, what are the three uh, important... Uh, so, ayan. Ito ang example. Uh, important players ng market. So, we have the art curator. Okay. The art buyer. And then, the art dealer. Okay. So, look at the art dealer. So, medyo talaga nagiging uh, mabusisi sila sa detalye ng isang uh, piece of work of art. Okay? Dahil kapag may mga art aficionado, yung mga talagang collector ng art, matalagang ma matalas at mabusisi din ang mga mata nila pagdating sa mga ganyan. They, they just won't buy a piece of art unless they know that it's authentic, that it's it's really a, uh, a classic uh, work of art. All right, so uh, we will discuss the three stages in the creative process. Okay, now sabi ni Robert Fritz, base sa kanya meron daw tatlong stage ng creative process. Okay, at according to him, that uh, creating is a skill that can be learned and developed. Okay, tama naman di ba? Kaya nga sinasabi natin na practice makes perfect. Right? So, like any other skill, we learn by practice and hands-on experience. So, according to Fritz, the first step or stage is germination or the idea. No? This, this is the initial moment when you conceive a new project in your life. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng conceive? Okay? Uh, you conceive um, nabubuo. Okay? Nabubuo mo yung idea para sa project mo. This is the moment na kung saan you have a lot of energy, you, you kind of envision the future, okay? 
and then the second stage is the assimilation okay during this phase you will internalize and assimilate or incorporate the idea you want to create okay so in this kind of stage you have to fully understand no uh, the, your information your ideas pagsasamasamahin mo and uh, finally the completion in the last stage uh, this is the time to finish your project to give in the final shape before you present it to the audience so perhaps this is the the most crucial and the the, the most difficult stage because you're sometimes kasi pag, pag artist siguro your energy will be small na lang eh no may may bababa ang energy mo uh, and then perhaps yung ibang artist talagang bago pa lang nila matapos um either they have a new concept na or a new idea which is better than what they're doing now so there you go the germination assimilation and completion gac remember that okay so we go on to medium and technique okay i'm sure you have heard these two concepts before the medium and technique okay when we say medium huh, it refers to the materials that are used by an artist to create a work of art okay so ito yung, ito yung material materiales na ginagamit to create the art it's that simple okay so whatever a, a piece of art is made out of it it's the medium all right and the plural of medium is media Okay, for example, sa painting, ano bang mga ginagamit natin sa painting? Oil paints, canvas, silk, watercolor, acrylic, okay? So, architecture, we have the glass, cement, uh, metal, wood. And then, so drawing, we have pencil, crayon, ink, charcoal, and chalk. Alright. And then, uh -huh, we have here the technique. So, it refers to the artist's ability and knowledge or technical know-how in manipulating the medium. Okay? This is the manner by which the artist controls the medium to achieve the desired effect. Okay? Ito yung mag-separate from one artist to another. Siyempre, yung, kung pareho kayong painter, magkaiba kay ng technique. That's what will separate the two of you. So, for example, painter kami pareho, pero ako, ang, ang forte ko is spray painting, okay? Samantalang siya, finger painting, okay? Nag-paint siya using the finger. And then, we also have different techniques like varnishing, no? Yung sa um, polishing ng surface sa isang sa mga pottery. We have sketching, pointillism. I think you've heard this, pointillism. Okay? Yung tuldok-tuldok lang ng ballpoint pen. And then, kapag nabuo mo yung mga tuldok-tuldok na yun, you are trying to, you know, you kind of draw something out of the tuldok-tuldok. Alright. Okay. So, what are the recognition and awards given for artists and artisans? Okay. Dito sa Pilipinas na na mm, na re recognize ang kanila mga talents and contribution because um, Philippines is uh, is a uh, Filipinos are gifted okay and uh, we have to recognize their 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 work okay unang una dito ang tinatawag na Gamaba National Living Treasure Award okay Gamaba or the Gawad sa Manilikhang Bayan okay so this award was institutionalized in 1992 through RA number 7335 the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. So, tandaan yan, ha? NCAA. Nah, sorry, that's NCCA, okay? Which is the highest policy-making and coordinating body of the Philippines for Culture and the Arts was tasked with the implementation. So, kanino ba ito binibigay? It is conferred to a person or group of artists recognized by the government of the Philippines for their contributions to the country's intangible cultural heritage. So, ano ba yung mga categories? Okay, para ba bang ma-qualify na ang isang tao or grupo ay pwedeng bigyan ng Gamaba National Living Treasure Award? So, these are the categories but it's not limited to the following. Weaving, carving, performing arts, literature, graphic and plastic arts, ornament, textile, uh, or fiber art, and pottery. Okay. 
So, pwede nyo makita actually ang mga listahan ng mga uh, national uh, Gamaba Artists uh, awardees sa link na ito sa NCCA. And as of today, there have been 16 awardees. Okay, 16 pa lang. So, manlilikha ng bayan shall mean a citizen engaged in any traditional art. Yung mga nabangit ko ng categories. Traditional art, uniquely Filipino, whose distinctive skills have reached such a high level of technical and artistic excellence and have been passed on to and widely practiced by the present generation in his, her, or community with the same degree of technical and artistic competence. Okay. And then finally, we also have the National Artists of the Philippines, ang mga pambansang alagad ng sining ng Pilipinas. Now, I'm sure all of you are familiar with this. This is the considered to be the highest national recognition for individuals who contributed to the development of Philippine arts. Okay? Philippine arts. So, this is administered by CCP by virtue of President Ferdinand Marcos and the NCCA. The first award was posthumously conferred on Filipino painter Fernando Amor Solo. Okay? Uh, the order of the highest state honor is conferred on individuals deemed as having done much for their artistic field. So, hindi to pwedeng pucho-pucho lang na i-award lang sa'yo dahil magaling ka na well paint na. It means that you have um, nakilala ka sa field of your expertise you have made such an influential um, work on your expertise and perhaps you've been so inspirational sobrang nakilala ka dahil sa sobrang galing mo no? and such people are then titled okay, national artists okay? when you are conferred this um, order you are called a national artist now, uh, ano ba yung mga categories under which the national artists can be recognized? So, pwede yan sa music, sa dance, sa theater, contemporary arts, okay? Literature, sa film and broadcasting or broadcast arts, uh, sa architecture, design, and allied arts. So, mas, mas malawak, mas malawak ang sakop dito ha? Dahil lahat na ng type of arts, it's, it's included here. Okay. Ano bang benefits? What's in it for them, no? When you are conferred a National Artist Award. So, well, the rank and title of National Artists, okay, first and foremost, and then the insignia of a National Artist in citation. Ano bang insignia? When you say insignia, ano ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin yung tatak. Okay? Yung tatak ng isang National Artists. And then a lifetime emolument and material and physical benefits. Yeah, for example, cash award, monthly life pension, life insurance coverage. Uh, if ever you you die, you know, you st it's a state funeral will be offered and a burial at the libingan ng mga bayani. Okay, and of course a place of honor, recognition, sa mga state functions and recognition at cultural events. Yan. I have not seen you personally, guys. No, I have. I I don't know what kind of art or what you are capable, but I I am hoping, no, somehow, I am that one of my one of you is uh, an an artist in the an artist in the making or a national artist in the making. No, huwag niyo akong kalimutan if ever, no. Let's see. <laughs> Alright, so ito yung mga kilala, some notable, na some uh, famous national artists of the Philippines. So ito una-una nga, 1972, binigay kay Fernando Amor Solo sa larangan ng visual arts and painting. Si Jose Garcia Villa, noong 1973, sa larangan ng literature. Nick Joaquin, yan. Si Leandro Loxin, architecture. Uh, si Lino Broca sa larangan ng pelikula kasama din si Fernando Po ayan 2006 and then recently 2018 si Ryan Kayabyab actually may, may mga daming kabatch yan si Ryan Kayabyab noong 2018 pero ayan isa yan sa mga medyo kilala at popular si Sir Ryan Kayabyab alright 
we are done. We're done with module what? Module three, no? And I think this will be the in the coverage of our prelim exam, module one to three lang. I'm not sure. I, I'll have to confirm. Pero at least no. So maybe next meeting natin offline tayo, uh, and I'll be giving you an offline activity. No, that's good. So I hope you are watching this at the very end. If you made it this far, congratulations! Awesome, you did great job. So if you have any question, just feel free to send me a, a message, some messenger, okay? And I am really hoping to meet you soon again, and um, maybe next week, no? Because I'll be giving offline activities this coming Friday. All right. So I hope. You are safe. You are well and healthy. Okay, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Okay, and I wish you a happy, happy week. All right. Goodbye and God bless.